hello what's up youtube in this simple tutorial i'm just going to be illustrating for you some very common mistake made by most beginners that are trying to learn how to use the mixer brush tool and this is going to be like something that is going to be very simple and something that is often times overlooked when it comes to using the mixer brush tool within photoshop so you're just going to go straight and play the frequency separation action and if at all interested in buying or purchasing my retouching essentials pack meaning my actions you can simply check the links in the description of this video so i'm just going to come right here and i'll play my 8-bit action since this is an 8-bit image so i'm just going to play this action right here and with the radius of around 7 i'm just going to simply so this radius you usually move this slide up to a point when you're starting to lose out on the skin details within the image and just stop right there so your images may be having different details or different levels of skin texture or sharpness so you shouldn't cram this radius so you have to move it according to uh, the textures within your photo or your image so i'll be using around six i think six is okay for such an image and i'll simply hit ok and the action is going to continue creating for me those frequency separation layers so usually my actions tend to come with a black and white layer which is going to be more of a whole player or a guide layer that is going to enable you see the uneven skin tone transition so that you can easily get the mixer brush tool and you paint in or you blend the transitions within those colors but if at all you don't have a black and white layer i'm just going to simply delete this and i show you something that is going to be very very simple and something that beginners using the mixer brush tool tend to face so i'm just going to go straight quickly through the mixer brush tool settings and if at all you find the video helpful as you're going on simply hit the like button because this is going to help youtube push and recommend this video to many people out there so i'm just going to request that you hit the like button so you come under the brushes and simply get the mixer brush tool and for other versions of photoshop you may find your mixer brush tool down here so the very first thing that beginners using the mixer brush tool tend to face is first of all the settings so you have to come and make sure you set the mixer brush tool well with hardness of zero percent make sure clean brush is selected and make sure the option that says clean the brush after each and each stroke has been selected the reason for doing this is because as you are painting on different areas of the image or mixing the skin color or skin tones of the image we want photoshop to automatically clean the brush for us as you're trying to blend a different area so we don't want the brush to carry a previous previous color for example if at all i was painting on this area we don't want the brush to carry the previous color from this area and maybe if at all the next area i'm working on is this highlight we don't want the brush to carry information or color from this area and paint it back here so make sure this option has been selected right here and now the next thing you have to take into consideration is this setting so different photographers on youtube usually recommend different settings and this is what i tend to prefer when it comes to using the mr brush tool so i, I use the weight of nine load of 75 a mix of 90 and a flow of 100 percent so one thing that is basically or usually overlooked when it comes to using the mr brush tool is this tiny option right here which says sample all layers I hope you can see that it has this tiny box meaning you can either check this option or uncheck it so this is oftentimes overlooked so for example if at all i'm um, to select the low frequency layer remember the low frequency layer is going to be containing our skin color or skin tones that we want to blend in the image so for example if at all i check this option it means the brush settings are going to be embedded within this option right here so if at all i start painting on the skin i'm just going to zoom in so if at all i paint on the skin let me just zoom in so that you can see this effect in real time so if at all i come and paint on the skin you can notice that the skin is going to start getting rough the reason for this is simply the brush setting right here because we check this option and let me just try to explain it for you so you can see that with sample all layers selected it means that 
every information within the frequency separation group is going to be lifted and painted back within the low frequency ladder that we have selected meaning the brush is going to also paint back textures remember we are sampling the all the information that belong in the frequency separation group or the layers and we are going to paint back that information in the low frequency layer remember when we're working on the images we only want to work with the information regarding a given layer so that we can fine tune the colors and the textures independently so it wouldn't be right for us to check this option that says sample orders because the brush is going to be painting information or textures from also the high frequency and painting it in the low frequency because you have told the brush or you have instructed the brush to sample all layers meaning it is going to be sampling information from all these layers within frequency separation and painting them where you apply the brush so i'm just going to undo that by pressing ctrl command z so the right way to do this is simply turning off this sample alias option and when it is turned off it means that the brush is going to be working independently on the information embedded in the low frequency layer which is the skin tones so when you just come and we start painting so how to paint simply paint just like that so you basically mix colors within the skin tone and what i usually recommend rather i usually recommend that you retouch at a distance because when you are retouching at a distance you're looking at the uneven skin tone positions better and you having that nice of a helicopter or area of view from a wider perspective so that is what you have to do make sure the sample order is not checked and you only work with the low frequency layer alternatively if at all you would love to work with this sample alias option turned on what you have to do is simply hiding the high frequency layer meaning your brush is not going to be having to copy information or textures and painting them to the low frequency layer because we have basically hidden it and the brush won't be having access to the high frequency layer but if at all you would love to work with the high frequency layer turned on simply uncheck the sample all layers option and you can now come and simply paint and you can see that you can now mix these colors well without having the textures painted back in the areas where we're trying to fine tune or work on in this very image and like a quick recap so when you turn on the sample alias option it means that the brush is going to be copying information from all these layers right here all the visible layers and it's going to paint them back to the low frequency and you are going to notice that kind of rough texture in the areas that you're trying to paint on so simply if at all you want to avoid that and check the sample alias option and you come and start working on the image then if at all you would love to work with this option turned on i know that can be a little bit weird if at all you'd love to work with that option turned on simply uncheck or hide the high frequency layer and in this way your brush is not going to be having access to the textures meaning it can't paint them back to the low frequency layer. and one bonus tip is if at all your mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon simply deactivate or simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard and that is going to bring back the original circle of the mixer brush tool so you press the caps lock key on the keyboard to deactivate that cross icon and bring back this and reduce on the size or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard and that is going to reduce or increase on the size of the Mr. Brush tool as you're working on the image. So if I truly have found the video helpful, I press that to hit the like button on this video. And don't forget to subscribe if I told you not subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you yet. More tutorials on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.